my name is Mohammed Shakib and this is master deck so today we are going to install uh, official cyanogen mode 14 on a redmi note 3 which releases yesterday so let's get started so first you have to power off your device then you have to just press the power button and volume up button simultaneously for a couple of seconds and it will boot into the TWRP recovery mode make sure you take a backup before installing any ROM so that you don't lose anything so first thing you have to do is just go to the wipe advanced wipe check everything except internal storage and a micro SD card then you have to swipe to now you have to go to the install and select CM14 this is the official nightly build so select this and, and just swipe to confirm flash so the ROM is successfully installed then you have to go back and install the gaps file and select this and then swipe to confirm flash so the ROM is successfully installed then you have to just hit the reboot system now and wait for the for the first load So this is the official Cyanogen Mod 14 ROM. It's uh, so let's test out the n do benchmark on official Cyanogen Mod 14. There are no apps running in the background, so let's get started. Let's start the test. We got the score of 67,111 on official Cyanogen Mod 14 ROM. So that's that. So this is the running. Uh, 7.1 also you got a uh, official cyanogen mode update regular in regular everyday nightly build or released over here you can download over here and automatically it will flash your ROM so that's that so let's go to the settings and find out what's interesting in this ROM so, so let's go to the buttons and you can also enable a navigation bar from here so if you are a left handed then this feature is for you for the righties it will really easy to reach over here for the navigation bar if you enable this one so you can you can access uh, the all the navigation button from here if you want to go back or you want a recent key so this is uh, the very good feature of the this rom show the arrow while key is typing so if you are interested to enable this you can so here is the buttons and a layout you can change the layout from here if you want you can change the space and back and home button and overview and menu and everything so here is the power menu you can also change the power menu from here as you can see over here this thing like you can enable a sound panel from here you can you can go to the vibrate and go to the default one so let's go back you just double tap a power button to enable a camera app on a, on this ROM so let's just take a picture camera is not working on this ROM properly so you need to download the third party camera so let's do do it again and try it one more time and let's enable at the video recording mode let me just go to the check uh, let's go to the video quality and change the settings for 1080p and let me do a recording video so it works fine on a 1080p it will not work so it will not work on a 4k so that's that Stop the video recording over here. 
so that's that video is working on this rom so as you guys can see over here so let's test out a front camera so it has a bug over here on this rom the front camera doesn't work it says the can't connect to the camera so that's that it doesn't work properly so the camera is buggy so the solution is you can uh, download a uh, google camera apk or this camera footage you can also download this camera application to enable all the future install this camera app and replace it with the stock one if the stock doesn't work so this is a good alternative camera app so let's go back and check out the other settings on this rom so the basic setting over here the home button and recent wake up device video call and that's that and let's go back let's go to the status bar and over here you can change your status bar settings hotspot bluetooth uh, if you if you need to change it over here so you control which the status bar icon are shown so you can change the status bar icon over here also you can change the clock style to the center uh, whether you prefer on the left side or a hidden maybe if you want to change the clock style to the center you also you can do that so I prefer on the right and you can change the battery circle to to the la landscape or if you want to change to the portrait so that's that let's do a you can hide a battery percentage or show inside the icon from that you can also show this in the text if you want to so let me select the circle so it will quick pull down quick pull down setting so you can also do that show the weather temperature and the brightness control if you are enable this brightness control you can adjust by a status bar let me demonstrate the brightness control on a status bar just sliding over the status bar just like that so this is the cool feature i like on this rom show the notification count and double tap to sleep you always you know the double tap to sleep like double tap on the status bar to sleep the phone so fingerprint is also working on this rom as you guys can see over here so let me do um, one more thing i think the flashlight test i think go to the toggle and flashlight is doesn't work on this rom many other rom has the issue of a flashlight so this is the official cyanogen mode 14 so that's it guys hope you like this video please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit like comment share and more videos like this